Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be going over everything that you're going to need to know before you do your first approach using radar vectors in Beyond ATC. It might sound a little bit harder than it actually is. Really all it is is following the heading that they give you and following their instructions. It's not that much harder than a traditional approach. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll be fine. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go into the aircraft just at the point where they tell us that they're about to give us radar vectors and then we follow the um, FMC and then eventually they'll tell us to turn to a certain heading and once they do that we'll turn to the heading and then follow their instructions as they give them to us. So yeah, we'll get on with the video. Hopefully it's helpful. If it is, then obviously like and subscribe. That always goes a long way. Shuttle 8 Uniform Manchester Approach. QNH 1012 expect radar vectors for ILS runway 2 tree right. Okay, so we've just been told that we're going to be getting radar vectors for runway 23 right, so we're going to acknowledge that by saying radar vectors for runway 23 right to shuttle 8 uniform. So now we're just going to follow exactly what we've got programmed um, until they give us radar vectors. So unless they say continue on current heading or something, you're going to follow your flight plan. Um, and then pretty soon they're going to give us um, some radar vectors into runway 23 right just here. So I'll catch up with you when they give us our first radar vectors. Shuttle 8 uniform, leave Dane heading 020. Expect radar vectors for ILS runway 2 tree right. Heading 020, shuttle 8 uniform. Okay, so they just told us to go to a heading of 020, so we're going to do that now. Shuttle 8 uniform, turn right, heading 015, vectors for the approach. Heading 015, shuttle 8 uniform. Okay, so we haven't been told to descend at all, so I'm going to maintain our current altitude and I reckon I'll keep us at flaps one until they tell us to descend anymore. Okay, so yeah, um, whenever they give you instructions on what heading to fly, you just want to put it into your autopilot, head to that heading, and um, yeah, uh, you keep doing that until they clear you to a new altitude, you descend to that altitude, still at the same heading, um, and then eventually you make it onto the approach and everything is perfect. Shuttle 8 uniform, turn right, heading 050, descend to flight level 070. Turn right heading um, 050 and descend flight level 070, shuttle 8 uniform. Okay, so you can see there we were just told to descend a bit more, so if they're not telling you to, uh, to descend at all, have faith in the instructions it's going to give you, they will eventually tell you to descend. Shuttle 8 uniform, turn left, heading 335, descend to flight level 060. Heading 335, descend flight level 060, shuttle 8 uniform. Shuttle 8 uniform, 9 or miles from CF2 tree R, turn left. Heading 270, maintain 3,500 feet until established on the final approach course. Cleared ILS runway 23 right. Heading 270, cleared ILS runway 23 right. Descend and maintain 3,500 feet. Shuttle 8 uniform. Okay, so they just cleared us um, to the approach. So I'm going to try and get us there as soon as possible. This is our extended center line here. So they've given us a intercept for that. Uh, so once we intercept that, we're going to arm the closer mode. We'll turn to the heading of the runway and they've cleared us to um, ILS 23 right. So we'll go on to that. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll line up with the runway. Um, so you can see the diamond at the bottom of our PFD there. So we just w uh, slightly overshot it, um, but I n uh, caught it just in the nick of time. Okay, so we were cleared for ILS runway 23 right. So I'm pretty sure that means we're good to armor bridge mine. So um, once we get to the right altitude, we'll descend and maintain it. Uh, maintain our glide slope. Right, okay, so with that the tutorial is over. I hope you found out what you needed to know about using vectors um, with Beyond ATC. It's not as hard as it sounds. Um, it can look a bit harder from the outside, but once you actually do it, hopefully everything's fine. If you have any questions, obviously let me know in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, obviously like and subscribe always goes a long way. And maybe you'll enjoy this video here, where we go over everything you could possibly need to know for Beyond ATC.